Hi everybody, today very shortly looking how to steer menus with gameplay abilities. So I am here in my Bastian plugin, I just started and actually I have to get a gameplay ability. I do that from an older video running here through the teleporter or through that set. And now I can press a button and see this blue and red um, yeah, buttons that steer different aspects of the bug. But of course they could steer everything. And in theory, I can also enter that just via a command line, but I'm doing that via the menu because I'm too lazy to type. How do you do that? Simply, it's the gameplay ability. So it's, it's hosted in abilities, game internal, and here you see the gameplay ability debug buttons. If you open that, what it does is actually quite easy. The only, only thing that it does, it's broadcasting a message to a specific channel. The channel here is ability debug buttons, and then it already ends. So it's not doing much but it makes this channel active and everything that listens to that channel will react or can react. Let's have a look who's actually listening to it. You just open here the gameplay tags and you search for the references for it. And then you see, okay, the upper line, that is the gameplay ability and the ability set. And lower line, that's interesting, that's the hut and this widget debug buttons. Let's have a look what that widget actually does. I'm browse to the asset and open it. So, and yeah, kind of expected, we have these five blue buttons, we have the one close button, and then going down, you see that the button base event is actually, um, there's some code attached to it. Let's open that, you would then go to the graph. At the beginning, it mostly makes sure that the visibility is collapsed, so not visible actually when it starts. It's, every, it's always there, but you cannot see it, and you cannot use it. Then it listens to these gameplay messages, the ability debug buttons, as we said, and then it just makes itself visible. And that's it more or less. And it, it switches some input mode that you can use your mouse on it. And all the buttons are just firing one single command um, that I, in theory could also use manually, but it's easier that way. That's it already. So how can I make sure that this ability will actually be there, that something is listening to this channel? Let's close that down again and go back to the ability itself. And let's look what references this one has. And yeah, it has an ability set. That's the normal way to set it. And the ability set is dynamically attached the moment your hero is entering this teleporter or whatever it is. And you see here one of the gameplay abilities it gets is this gameplay ability debug buttons bound to an enhanced input. So an input tag with the ability debug button. The input is standard enhanced input thing. So one thing is you need an input action that is referred to. So input action debug buttons. Then you need a mapping um, to that input action between the tag and the input action itself. And then you need to define a specific key for this input action. That's it more or less. We already did that in one of the videos before and especially the one with the teleporters because that's kind of the same thing. If I now, again, collecting my gameplay abilities and now entering the teleporter, on the top left, you see the teleport cooldowns. And these are two widgets listening, same thing, listening to teleporting messages and are only visible as long as these messages are there. Very same thing is happening here with the debug menu. So it's a very, very easy way to steer menu visibility through gameplay text. Okay, thank you very much. That's it for today. We are still working on kind of bundling all the systems that we saw until now together. And yeah, stay tuned. See you then. Bye.